हेलो गाइस दिस इज रेवन फ्रॉम डिजी इंटीग्रेटिव वेलकम टू टेक न्यूज एपिसोड 107 रिलायंस यू हैज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड फाइव न्यू प्रीपेड रिचार्ज प्लान्स इन इंडिया एंड दिस कम्स विद नो डेली डेटा यूसेज रेस्ट्रिक्शंस द न्यू जियो प्रीपेड प्लान स्टार्ट्स फ्रॉम ₹127 एंड गो ऑल द वे अप टू ₹2397 एंड ऑफर अप टू 365 डेज वैलिडिटी सिमिलर टू अदर जियो पैक्स द न्यू प्रीपेड टैरिफ्स हैव अनलिमिटेड वॉइस कॉल्स 100 एसएमएसस पर डे एंड अ सब्सक्रिप्शन टू जियो सूट ऑफ एप्लीकेशंस इंक्लूडिंग जियो सिनेमा जियो टीवी जियो हेल्थ जियो न्यूज़ एटसेट्रा द जियो प्लान्स आर नाउ अवेलेबल अक्रॉस द कंट्री वाय द जियो वेबसाइट एंड द माय जियो ऐप फॉर यूजर्स टू रिचार्ज Airtel 5G trial network has gone live in the Cyberab area in Gurgaon. It is operating at the 3.5 GHz band. Airtel 5G speed touches about 1 GB in the video. MI Watch Revolve Active will launch in India on June 22nd. It will go on sale in India through Amazon. MI Watch Revolve specifications include a SpO2 sensor, heart rate monitor, sleep tracking, GPS, workout modes and many more. In a new development leaks have emerged online which suggests that PUBG Mobile and Battlegrounds Mobile India will introduce season 1 with their next patch millions of PUBG Mobile players across India are eagerly waiting for the arrival of Battlegrounds Mobile India in the game announcement Crafton mentioned some of the exclusive content that would be arriving with the special version including outfits event and etc India's popular fitness chain Cult Fit has announced that the company will facilitate free COVID-19 vaccines to their over 2 lakh offline fitness members. The new and existing Cult Fit users with offline Cult Pass subscription are eligible for the vaccine at Cult centers and gym across 20 cities where the company has a physical presence. This includes Bengaluru, Delhi, NCR, Hyderabad, Mumbai, Chennai, Pune, Jaipur, Visakhapatnam, Kolkata, Ahmedabad, Mysore, Chandigarh, Cochin, Ludhiana, Surat, Jammu, Amritsar, Indore, Coimbatore and Mangalore. Cultfit adds the company's partnering with the Mfind for logistics and operational support. The registration for the vaccine drive will begin from June 16th via the mobile application for Android and iOS users and the inoculations are scheduled to start on June 24th. IQ Fold, IQ Roll and IQ Slide monikers have been spotted at the trademark site. The phones could compete with Samsung Xiaomi and the rumored Google Fold. The trademark doesn't reveal hardware specifications or design. Indian handset maker Carbon has quietly launched a new entry level budget smartphone in the country. The device is called as Carbon X21. Let's take a look at what this phone offers. The newly released Carbon X21 features a plastic build with a glossy rear panel. The phone weighs around 160 grams. It comes in two colors, namely aqua green and midnight blue. On the front, the device fronts a 5.45 inch LCD panel. A 5 megapixel selfie camera and LED flash sit on the forehead above the screen. Whereas the back of the phone houses a 8 megapixel primary camera accompanied by a led flash the handset is powered by unisoc sc9863 chipset coupled with a 2 gb of ram and a 32 gb of internal storage if required the storage can be expanded up to 128 gb via micro sd card slot and it runs on android 10 go edition is backed by a 3000 mah battery that charges via micro usb port the carbon x21 is priced at rupees 4999 and in india it is already up for sale on flipkart The boat has started teasing his upcoming smartwatch, the Boat Watch Extend, that supports Amazon Alexa voice assistant to set reminders, alarm, ask questions, and many more. It will come with a 1.69 inch square LCD 2.5D curved display and supports over 50 cloud watch faces with a Boat Wave app. Similar to other Boat Watch models, this will come with a music controls, Find My Phone, D&D, and weather forecast, and feature 50 meters water resistance. Apple has launched their new Beats Studio Buds True Wireless Noise and Cancelling Earbuds. Let's see some of the features. You can control your sound with two distinct listening modes: Active Noise Cancelling and a Transparency Mode. Battery lasts up to 8 hours of listening time and up to 24 hours combined with the pocket-sized charging case. It comes with a industry-leading Class 1 Bluetooth for extended range and few dropouts. Higher quality call performance and voice assistant interaction via built-in microphones. It has an IPX4 rated sweat and water resistant wireless earbuds. Beat wireless headphones and earphones are compatible with Apple and Android devices. After giving away an actual fridge that looks like Xbox Series X in November 2020, Microsoft has officially announced the Xbox Mini fridge. Wrapping up their showcase at their 2021 E3 Global Gaming Expo, the company revealed a glimpse of their upcoming electronic appliances. This comes after an announcement in April 2021 that Microsoft would be making mini fridges that look like an Xbox Series X. The Xbox Mini fridge release date is set for holiday season 2021 as promised by Microsoft. However, there is no information 
information on the Xbox Mini Fridge pre-order ad. Nevertheless, the Mini Fridge might be available through Microsoft Store in the future. It might be priced anywhere between $200 to $300. Microsoft is marketing the Xbox Mini Fridge to be the world's most powerful mini fridge and it will feature Xbox Velocity cooling architecture. Twitter has finally taken steps to comply with the government's order. Twitter has posted job openings on LinkedIn for the position of Chief Compliance Officer, Nodal Officer and the Grievance Officer. Now, microblogging site has recently reached out to the Indian government requesting more time to comply with new IT rules. Netflix has unveiled its first owned and operated retail outlet named Netflix.shop to sell products and merchandise fashion off its shows. As per the blog post, the e-store will sell exclusive and limited edition of carefully selected high-quality apparel and lifestyle products related to Netflix shows regularly. Netflix, like some of its competitor including Hulu and HBO Max, does not air commercials and relies on the monthly fees paid by its more than 200 million global subscribers. That's where Netflix.shop makes its entry. Apple had a great start to 2021 in India. In the first three months of the year, the Cupertino giant recorded its best ever quarterly sales of notebook and tablets in the country. Data from Singapore-based market research firm, the premium brand's total PC sales doubled to 208 million units between January and March this year, comparing to the same period last year. Apple's growth was largely aided by the availability of its official online store. Bitcoin price jumps again after being at all time low the whole of last week. The value of the cryptocurrency rises after Tesla's CEO Elon Musk tweeted on Sunday that his electric car company will accept Bitcoin as payment method in future. But there is a condition on it. Elon Musk said that Tesla will resume Bitcoin transaction when miners use it more renewable energy. Dizo to launch its feature phone in the upcoming days, name it Dizo Star 300. It is a normal keypad feature phone with minimalistic specifications just like other feature phones. As a recent report ahead of the launch of the Dizo Star 300, the live images of this phone have got leaked online with the retail boxes and for the images. We have got to know its specifications as well so let's go and quickly check them out. OnePlus Note 2 will be rebranded as Realme X9 Pro according to a new leak. The Realme X9 Pro Dimensity 1200 variant will be launched globally as OnePlus Note 2. OnePlus Note 2 specifications will include a 6.43 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display, MediaTek Dimensity 1200 processor and a 50 megapixel triple rear cameras. In late April, OnePlus released the OTS 7 update for the premium OnePlus TV Q series and the mid-range OnePlus TV U series. One and a half month later, the company is seeding the OTA 4 update for the budget OnePlus TV Y series with a new feature and bug fixes. The latest system update for the OnePlus TV Y series come after the launch of OnePlus TV 40 Y1 and the OnePlus TV U1S series. The new update brings a simple new feature and a bug fixes. Amazon made its entry into the game streaming service market last year with the launch of Luna. Up until now, the service has been available only to a limited number of users who have to request early access. That changes as Luna will be open to all Prime members next week for a limited time. Luna will be available to Prime subscribers on June 21st and June 22 and they will be able to play free for 7 days according to Amazon. After a 7 days period, user will have to pay $5.99 per month to continue to enjoy the service. Luna is still only available in the US market. Oppo launched the Oppo Reno6 series smartphone last month in China. The Oppo Reno6 series consists of three handsets, Oppo Reno6 5G, Oppo Reno6 Pro 5G and Oppo Reno6 Pro Plus 5G. Now the Oppo Reno6 Pro global variant has appeared on the FCC certification website. The appearance on the FCC listing hints the Oppo Reno6 Pro global launch is imminent. To recall, the Oppo Reno6 Pro 5G is powered by MediaTek Dimensity 1200 processor. The handset also offers a 64 megapixel pixel quad rear camera setup and a 4500mAh battery with a 65W fast charging. Again, Oppo is gearing up for the launch of its upcoming Reno 6s smartphone which is set to join the Reno 6 series. Now, a new smartphone has been popping up on the internet claiming to arrive soon. The handset was recently appeared on Malaysia's SIRIM certification website revealing some specifications of the phone. According to the tipster, some vital information about the handset has been leaked. This smartphone will be powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 800U chipset and it also features a 30 watt fast charging support to fuel up the device quickly comparing to the standard charger. The handset also tipped to flaunt a 60Hz refresh rate display. 
Researchers in Singapore say that they have found a way to charge gadgets worn by a person by tapping the human body as a medium for wireless power transmission. They say that their technique draws power from one source, say a mobile phone, kept in a person's pocket and transferred it to the other gadgets worn by a person. The team from National University of Singapore Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering said that they developed this technique to address the body shadowing issues encountered by wireless charging system in a small indoor area. In this system developed by by the NUS team each receiver and transmitter on the human body contains a chip that is used as a springboard to extend coverage over the entire body a user need to place a transmitter on a single power source such as smartwatch on the wrist and the system harasses energy from the source to charge multiple wearables via the process called as body coupled power transmission the user will only need to charge one device which will then power the rest of the gadgets worn by them from that single source simultaneously Xiaomi has recently been granted patents for new smartphone models that feature large camera modules on their rear. This might imply that the company might be aiming to launching new devices with an emphasis on mobile photography. The patent got published earlier this month and showcased three smartphone models with large image sensors in the rear. The patent carried the title Mobile Phone Back Cover for the Mobile Phone and derived the various design sketches that offers us to look at the rear design of these handsets. Huawei has announced that the company's OTT platform Huawei Video is now available to users in more than 60 countries. The app is also available on Huawei smart screens in Malaysia, Saudi Arabia, the Philippines and many more countries. The app comes in premium content from local as well as the international market. Huawei Video app is also the default video player in all the smartphones coming from Huawei as well as a Honor brand. The program comes with support for playing videos in multiple formats along with playback, speed control, slow motion, floating window and many more. It is also offering the cloud to cloud synergy of Hawaii Cloud plus Hawaii Terminal Cloud for users around the world. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.